guys, welcome back to another episode in the Scratch series. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a scrolling background, widely known as Scroll X in the Scratch community. If you ever wanted to make a game like Mario, this is the video for you. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need a character. So I'm going to make a sprite called character and just make it a simple square. Like maybe outline five and hold shift and then drag and you should get a square and also center that so it's easier to get the coordinate. And now we're going to need a, we're going to need a floor for the character to sit on. So make another sprite and call it floor one. I'm putting a one at the end because we're going to need multiple floors later on because this is scroll X. I'm just going to make it red and make sure it fits right in the boundaries and don't make it like greater than the boundary or less than the boundary. Make sure it fits right on the line. Maybe like that. So now we have our floor, we have our character and we can actually start scripting. So go to the floor and go to events when green flag clicked. And we want the floor to go to zero zero because that's the center of the screen and then test it and the floor should go right into its place. Now we're going to go to character and then drag a when green flag clicked as well. And we're going to actually need a script gravity because we want the character to like fall when it's not touching the ground. So to do that, drag a when green flag clicked and then drag a forever block. And then drag a if then else block. Drag touching color inside this um, hexagon. Click it and then click this button and then click the floor. So select the color of the floor. Now it's if touching color floor, then we want to make the character not fall. And to do that, we're going to need a variable called Y velocity. And what this is going to do is it's going to keep track of the velocity our character is falling at. So if the character is not touching the ground, we just want Y velocity to be zero. And look, it's zero. But if it is, I mean, if it's not touching the ground, then we want the Y velocity to change by maybe 0 0.3. If you change this number um, higher, it's act, the character is actually going to fall much faster. Now we need to go to motion and then change Y by Y velocity. This is a script that's actually going to make the character fall. So now, oops, we need to go to block here. So go to zero, zero, and, or actually not, maybe not zero, zero, maybe 100, or, yeah, 100, zero, zero, 100. So now if we test this, oh, okay, so the, we have to set the Y velocity to be zero at the beginning. And now you can see our character is falling like this. And we can make it fall much faster if we just change this maybe 0 0.6. Now you can see the character falls much faster. And yeah, so now we have to script a jump. And we're still going to script it in this block of code. So just drag a if block like right here. And after that, we're going to say if, or actually, no, we're going to drag an if else block in here. So if um, key space pressed, then we're going to set the Y velocity to like three and else we're going to set the Y velocity to maybe zero. So now if it falls and then we jump, you can see it jumps really tiny. Like the jump is really tiny. So we've got to make this bigger maybe 15. So now you can see we can jump like really high and that's too high. So I'm going to make it eight. Let's see if this is good. Yeah, that's a decent jump. You can see here. See, you can't jump in mid air. It's only if you touch the ground, you can jump. Now we got to script our scroll X. So to do that, we're going to drag a when green flag clicked here and then drag a forever block. And then we're going to make a variable called scroll X. This is going to keep track of our character's 
real world position because this is only our windows but if we want the backdrop to extend outwards beyond our computer screen then we're going to need like this variable to keep track so at the beginning it's going to be set to zero and zero is going to be the middle and then forever okay go back to this block and then forever and then drag an if key maybe let's see um right arrow so that's going to be yeah right arrow so if our character is moving this way we want the backdrop to move this way um and to do that we want to change our scroll x by a negative amount so change scroll x by maybe negative 7.5 and then uh, duplicate this change this to left arrow and make this positive so positive 7.5 now if we move you can see the backdrop doesn't move wait actually yeah so the backdrop doesn't move but our scroll x is changing now we've got to actually script the movement of our backdrop Go to the floor one script, I mean sprite, and then drag when green flag clicked, and then a forever, like this. Now we're gonna drag a if. So and then drag an and. Drag this in here. So if scroll x is greater than, um, let's see. So if scroll x is greater than uh maybe like 480 and scroll x is less than negative 480 so if it's in between this range then we want our backdrop to show Wait, actually let's make this um an if else block that'll be easier so if else and then here here and then hide if it's not in the range oops hide and then we're going to drag a go to block, go to scroll x. Oh, oops. Okay, so let's see. So our scroll x is greater than 480. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this should be less than. So less than. So greater than. Oh, it should be the opposite, actually. So this should be less than. So if scroll x is less than 480. And it's greater than negative 480, like that. Now if we move, you can see our backdrop moves as well. But we need more floors because we can't just like end here, right? We're going to need more floors. So to do that, just duplicate this. And now we have a floor 2. And instead of 480, we're going to change it to 480. 480 times 2. And similarly, over here, we're just going to duplicate this, negative 480 times 2. And here, we're going to put um, a negative 1. So scroll x times negative 1. Oops. So scroll x times negative 1. And then you're going to drag minus 480. So that's just the basic formula and okay so we need some debugging so maybe just scroll x over here no negative one yeah so that works but you can see that the the backdrop is like on this side but we have none on this side so we're gonna need we're gonna need one on this side and to do that we can make another floor but instead of doing this you can like reverse this so reverse this like that and yeah so it should work now okay so it's not working we need to make this let's see here so if we're going i'm going to delete this real quick so if we're going this way and when we hit here our scroll locks will be like 7.5 and we need another floor over here. So it should be it should be actually like 480. It should be 480 minus uh negative one times scroll x like this. And that should make 
a backdrop here. Okay, yeah, that worked. So now we have our two floors and they're connected and you can see they go on and off the screen. And to add some difference, I can even like make my floor to have an obstacle like this. So now there's no obstacle when we go here. Oh, there's an obstacle now. And oh, oops, I moved that. So make sure you get out of that. So you can see now there's an obstacle and we can like kind of jump on it, jump off it, jump on it, jump up. And if you want to make more floors, you can just duplicate this and make this times three times three and then make this um, make this 480 times two like that. Now we have like three floors and should work. Yeah, look, we have three floors and I can make something different here. Like um, maybe make this floor have a spike. Make this floor have a sprite. And like now you can see this floor has this platform and then third floor has a spike. So you can make like a platformer game with this. You can make whatever you want. And if you need some help or generally just have a question, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it ASAP. Also, this project will be linked in the description. So go ahead and check it out. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.